Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. Today we'll be taking a look at and discussing some of the improvements that we would like to see when it comes down to Samsung One UI 6 through the beta process. And also me just sharing some of the bugs that I am currently running into when it comes down to beta one. I mean, I get that it's beta one. It's the first thing that's popping out, but I wanna share it. So this way there's some video documentation of exactly what I'm talking about with everything that I've sent in through the written forum inside of Samsung members, which is where you're able to give all of your feedback for the beta program that you're currently on. So you guys can use this as a little forum, a little community below the video and subscription, right? Anything that you have noticed so far, if you're on it, or maybe if you're not on it and you would like to see some improvements, you know, you can give a little bit of substance of exactly why you may not like this screen and what is something they could actually do as a suggestion and not just state that I'm not a big fan of the quick panel layout. So let's just kind of go through and, and hopefully maybe somebody from Samsung will be able to watch this and gain a little bit of information from it as well. We will first start off with all of the improvements that I would like to see just because that does affect everybody. And also right after that, then I'll talk about the bugs that I'm running into because it could just be maybe like a one situation, you know, uh, an isolated situation of me running into some of these things, which I'll soon hear, you know, explain what's happening. So first up, let's talk about the quick panel. So it seems as if in my past video, this is where most people state that they're not a fan of this screen. Now there's two things that I wanna mention in this screen here where I think that improvements could be made. Now, I know some people state that they would rather have it just being within dark mode. You know, they think that when you go into the settings, this is just a completely different setup than, you know, what you are seeing right here. And I mean, I get it. This right here is just using your color palette. When it comes down to your color palette and you go through and you make changes, you notice through the settings that it's gonna be your settings right here. It's gonna be your phone dialer. It's gonna be your calculator. And when you pull this down again, it's gonna pretty much still stay within the color palette theme. And I get it. I, I mean, I, I do. It's just that this area here, I would rather see towards the very bottom. Because if this is some of the quick settings that some people would love to use, then maybe they would like to have it easier reach with the thumb when you're holding on to the phone. So as example, let's say that we pull in this device over here, we swipe down, everything was pushed towards the bottom, which was what the main thing was of One UI. Samsung One UI was specific to making everything easier and faster and better to use. Uh, and this right here was easy. This one is just spread out. It's through the entire phone. It kind of reminds me, if you take a look at this screen and this screen, this almost reminds me of easy mode. They kind of spread everything apart, made everything kind of bigger, completely, you know, uh, separated everything. So really all I'm saying with this screen right here, if they would like to maybe for some reason have the two most important things or towards the top, all they have to do is bring those two most important things at the top, bring them all the way to the bottom. So literally just put this one in the places of these, and then what you're able to do is these two that you actually see here, bring them towards the top, which in turn at the very end, will actually bring this last square, which we should be able to access with our thumb, this should actually be right here. So if this is the size of the, of the little quick control panel, it brings it to about right here, which is very similar to what we have over here. So this is very easy to get to with one thumb, you know, one little access, boom, we can hit everything. So again, end of the day, bring these two to the very bottom, put these two to the very top, which in turn brings this one down a little bit, sitting right around here, which makes it a little bit more simple and uh, you know, similar to this one over here. So that's what I would like to see as an improvement. Now, improvement number two on this screen that I would like to see is gonna be dealing with getting rid of some repetition and then adding in another feature back to what we actually now have just lost. So first off, when it comes down to repetition, what happens is, is if you're to tap on these words right here, which normally would take you into this quick little screen, it's like a quick little, you know, quick settings display. It, it doesn't get you into the full settings menu, but what happens now is let's say that you, again, uh, press and hold on the icon. That gets you right back to where you were from before. So now what happens is if I press here, it's gonna take me into the same screen as if I was to press here. Now, if I wanted to get into the quick version of these settings, tapping the word is exactly what it used to be. If you go back to your phone right now and you tap the word that is underneath the icon, it'll take you into this quick little settings right there. Now what happens is it's gonna do it there as well as the icon itself. What I wanna view when I press and hold here is gonna be this screen. If I press and hold, that means that I am diligent in wanting to get into the full entire menu or the whole entire 
settings menu so I can get into every single thing that is inside of there. So again, we kind of lost the ability where again, up over here, if I tap there on the word, it's just gonna actually change the setting for me. It's not gonna actually get into those quick little settings. Same thing if I hit on vibrate, uh, all that good stuff. I mean, every single thing that you see right here, uh, I'm not able to get into those quick little menus that I actually used to be able to do over here. So if we pull down one of the older devices, let's say that we tap right there, mobile hotspot, it takes me into the quick version. If we, if we go inside of Bluetooth, I hit the word, it takes me into the quick version, internet, quick version. If I press and hold on this icon, boom, it takes me into the full entire thing. So basically we are missing the opportunity of going into the full entire settings of that setting through this little button press. So I want them to bring back the ability that if you press and hold on the icon, it gets you into the full version of the settings because we already have the ability, especially with these ones on the top, that if you tap there, it takes you into those quick ones. I mean, we already have that. We don't need it twice in the exact same area. Now, here's the thing. It's not with every single one of these quick little settings. So again, if I press and hold on power saving, it takes me into the full settings. Again, if I was to go over maybe inside of quick share, it's going to take me inside of the you know full entire settings. It's not taking me into that quick little view. Mobile data, press and hold, takes me into the full settings. It's not getting into that quick little view. Uh, location, you know, same thing. It takes me to the full settings, which again, why is the Bluetooth doing this? And why is the Wi-Fi doing this? And also a few other things, because when you tap on the words, it already takes you there. And again, I get it. It's very simple, quick and easy. You want to see those quick settings, you just tap it. That's the quickest thing. But if you want the full thing, you want to press and hold on the icon, the same thing that you do with everything else. Now, this next one is going to be dealing with the music player. And I know a few people have also mentioned this as well, too. So when it comes down to the music player widget, they actually updated it and gave us something that looks like this. So this is the expanded view of your of your music player widget. This is something that's pretty cool. It shows you the music lines that's going through. You can hit play, pause, all that good stuff. You can switch your media outputs so if you want to, you know, switch between your Bluetooth and a TV or your phone, whatever the case may be. Now that's the expanded music version right there. Now if you swipe down, all you see is the smaller version. So this is the old version that we used to see. So if you're swiping down, I don't want to swipe down one more time just to get this really cool aesthetic of really looking at this brand new music player widget. So I would want to see with future updates that when you swipe down and you take a look at this widget, it's actually already expanded because I want to inter interact with it. I want to interact with something that looks better and new, shiny than something that looks like this from before. So again, this is my improve or one of my thoughts of what I would like to see improved on the next one is this full expanded version. If this is supposed to be new and shiny, that is something that I would rather see. It's already expanded and new and shiny right here. It's looking really good. I like it. I just want to see it on this main screen here, which is what I look at more often than not. So in summary of the improvements that I would like to see before we go inside of the bugs is that when it comes down into this screen here, if these are supposed to be so important, they should technically be towards the bottom. So it's easier to access with the thumb. These two, you might as well bring all the way right back up to the very top, which in turn brings this one down, which makes it a little bit more manageable to use and touch everything with your thumb rather than doing the counterproductive thing, which is moving these top icons down over to the bottom. So then this way it's easier to access. That's again, sounds counter, you know, uh, can, okay. So in summary of the of the okay so in summary of the improvements I'd like to see before we go inside of the bugs that I'm seeing is that I do want to see if these are supposed to be so important, both of these should actually be on the very bottom. These two right here should go towards the very top and then this section here be brought down. So again, this way it's easier access to the thumb towards the lower part of the screen, which is what Samsung One UI was originally made to do. And then also too, it just, you know, if you, if you have to, I mean, it's counterproductive, but moving these ones towards the bottom is a solution. But again, I don't think it's the full solution that I think Samsung should look at. This whole thing should actually be moved down and then get rid of this repetition of what you see there is exactly what you see here, which in turn, the same thing here, what you see there is the exact same thing that you see here. If you press and hold on the icon, if you press and hold, it should take you into the full settings. Uh, and then also too, with the music player, make it look expanded already when you swipe down. Now going into the bugs that I am running into, and again, this, these could be isolated in a one-off situation, but I at least want to share it. Again, I want to have video evidence of exactly what's going on and also documentation of the One UI beta program as we go along with it to see if any of these are fixed. Now the first one with me is going to be when I try to go home. So even though I am already home, like this screen here is set to my home page. As you can see, it is highlighted. This is my home page. But as I am here, when I swipe up, what it wants to do is it kind of shows me my app tray really quick. Like it shows me this little app tray really super quick right here. 
Um, but what it should do is what it has always done in the past. If you're already on your home and you swipe up, it should just do this little baby animation. This is just kind of letting you know, Boeing, you're actually still at home. Hey, you are home. This is your home page rather than showing me that little quick little uh, application tray. And I realize and I find out why this is actually happening. And I'm going to get to that here in just a second. Now, here's the other thing that's also annoying. Uh, I am not on my home page. I'm trying to get home and it won't get there. So when I'm over here, I swipe up. You have a nice little smooth animation getting you right back to your home page. So I don't want to be, you know, on the sister page, slowly kind of seeing that quick little app tray. Again, I'm swiping from the bottom. All I'm trying to do is go right back home which is exactly what this should do. Now, if I am inside of, let's say, an application and I swipe up, it does take me home. It just happens to be that when I'm already home, it does that. If I'm over here, it does that. It doesn't take me home. So now going into this next bug, because they kind of go hand in hand. And so what I'm gonna show you here, I mean, it'll make sense once you actually see it. Now, when I'm inside of the gallery, now on the very, very bottom of the screen, there's absolutely nothing that is really separating the bottom of the screen and the application itself. So now what happens if I swipe up to go home, it also just scrolled. And you see that it actually just stopped scrolling. I have to go back to the top to go where I was you know, right before this. So if you're actually in an application where you're just trying to read a book, you now have to go towards the top again to see where you ended off. So watch this. I'm at the very, very top. I open up the application one more time. Let's say that I you know, go back home. I open up the application one more time. I'm actually almost towards the very bottom of this entire paragraph or this entire you know, gallery of my images. You can see I have to scroll all the way back up. So that is what happens every single time that I go home. That was actually what was happening with me when I was first shooting this video, talking about everything that is brand new. So when I went into that software update and then I went into this last update, you can see here again, this application goes to the very bottom of the phone. Now look at this, I'm gonna put it right there where we can still see the image. We see the One UI 6 upgrade. If I swipe up just to go home, and then let's say I go back inside of it again, I am now down here. That means that if again, you are reading any application, maybe it's a, a book, an ebook, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, again, if I scroll again, and let's say I go right back inside, you can see how far down I went just with me just trying to go home. Now, I was trying to figure out, you know, where else, you know, maybe this was or wasn't happening. And let's say that we go inside of Smart News. Now, for example, with this one, it actually has a bar towards the bottom. So if I'm looking right up over here and this is what I see. Now, if I was to swipe all the way back home and then I go back inside of the application, it's going to keep me exactly where I was because there's actually something, you know, down over here on the very bottom, which it's kind of weird. Now, when you take a look at my home, you can see again, there is nothing towards the very bottom. And I think that is actually why, you know, it's trying to scroll. So this is technically scrolling, if that makes sense. So again, if I'm right here and I'm swiping up, which is allowing me to, you know, go home, it scrolled it. Now, if I'm already home and let's say that this is a application, this is exactly what is happening right here. It's just trying to scroll, which is another reason why if I'm on my sister page over here and I'm not, not in the home page, when I swipe up, it's just trying to scroll, which means it's trying to show me this application tray. So that's why it's not taking me back home. So another example of one where it kind of has something towards the bottom, let's say we go to Instagram. So when you go to Instagram and you're scrolling through here, I mean, there's a lot of scrolling that's able to happen. But because there is a area towards the bottom, when you swipe up, it closes. And you can see how tight of a close this is. I'm still on the very top. And so every time I swipe up, you can just see how, how, how clean of a close this is. It doesn't even scroll at all. But if I'm here and I swipe up, you can see it is scrolling and it actually still is scrolling. And it took me all the way to the very bottom. Even if I go like that, now we're gonna go back inside and it's still scrolling down. So that is kind of what's happening with this bug here is when there's absolutely nothing on the bottom of the screen, it is you know pretty much just gonna scroll because that's what it thinks you're trying to do, which in turn makes it to where if I do this home, action it's not doing this this right here this little cancellation as you can see and if i'm on a sister page uh, what this is supposed to do is take me right back home and this doesn't because it's still actually trying to scroll which again is a kind of a weird bug and then another bug that i'm running into is if i swipe down to open up my notifications panel so watch this so if i swipe down here it works i swipe down here it works now let's say i swipe down on this widget it works so i'm going to keep doing this a couple times to the google widget you can see that that works when i do it to my weather widget I can, you know, it works. I can see exactly what's going on. Uh, I swipe down on that widget, swipe down on this widget, swipe down on that widget, swipe down on this widget. But when it comes down to this battery center, it does this. So, and 
I mean, I didn't even want to move it. <laughs> okay. So uh, again, if I swipe down, it just, uh, it, it just kind of opens this up. So it's just kind of weird. Uh, I mean, it happens, I'd say maybe like 80 or 90% of the time you saw that it didn't do it like once. Uh, there it goes. It didn't do it twice. So that is actually why this one's sitting right there. Normally it was actually just right here. This is where it was with my phone beforehand. I had to move it up because that is where my thumb always goes right there. If I want to do any of my little swipes to see the notifications panel, because now when I do this, it's just gonna pull this up. So this widget that we're talking about, maybe this is the one that has the problem with it. Basically, if you go inside of here, you go inside of widgets, you scroll down, you take a look, wherever it says battery. And so this is the one that I'm using right here. So it's probably just gonna be this widgets issue where it's just kind of popping up where, I mean, I'm just trying to see my notifications and you've, you've seen it several times before. All the rest of these work perfectly fine. It just happens to be that with the battery widget itself, it will pull up, um, you know, it's asking me to make little changes when really, Wow, okay, I kind of wanted to move a little bit again. So that's everything that I wanted to share in today's video is the improvements that I would like to see as well as some of the bugs that I'm running into. And really, hopefully the bugs are just subject to me. Hopefully it's isolated. It's just a one-off with me. Uh, but this is what I'm talking about when you know I sent in the feedback where every single time I just wanna make sure I'm on the homepage, it kind of does this little uh, quick view of my little you know application tray. And I'm finding out that it's because it's just trying to scroll. That's all it's trying to do. When you open up an application that actually has something towards the very bottom and you swipe up, it's gonna be a quick close. It doesn't scroll, it's perfectly fine. So if you're reading any ebook applications or whatever the case may be, you're reading uh, Facebook, you're looking at your, your settings information, you know, you're trying to read what was just done with your last update. And as you are scrolling through, maybe there's something you wanna take a look at and you're looking at this section here of lock screen you swiped up to go home to take a look at it. When you go back, you completely lost your section. You forgot where you were, you lost exactly where you were, which was right up over here. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. Hopefully Samsung takes a look at this. They can see exactly what I'm talking about through text. They can see it in the video forum. Hopefully you guys can use the comment section below to write any suggestions you suggest for upcoming improvements or changes for Samsung One UI. Again, this is the very first beta. A lot of things can still change and a lot of things are still gonna be fixed. Uh, I just wanted to share a few things out there with you from what I am kind of currently seeing. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.